Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, oh, I'm uh, this is a new trading group. I'm new trader, and today's date is August thirtieth, two thousand seventeen. So we had an unfortunate event today. Um, after the news came out for the EIA, we actually had a negative draw of five million barrels. And um, initially, I was like telling the guys, "Hey, it's gonna rip up real quick, and then it's gonna come back down." Which this part kind of did. It ripped up and then came back down. Uh, this bar right here. Sorry, let me zoom in for you guys. So the price action, it came up, came back down, went up, and then broke down. We got into this trade right here at 45.91, looking to target 45.41 area. Unfortunately, um, it after we got in momentarily, it just kind of ripped up because the news was uh, bearish. But after this case, um, we we're in the trade. We got stopped out at 46.29. Uh, we were looking to target 45, 40, uh, 41, I believe, yes. And the risk reward we were looking for was going to be um, 300, risking 380 to make $500. And unfortunately, yeah, we got stopped out. But it's okay. Even if you took this long trade, yes, it did pay you um, close to like three, four $400, but it never went to the target either. And ultimately, once the news hit the fence after that initial EIA news, they focused back on Hurricane Harvey with um, the closing and the disruption of the of the refining of crude oil. And ultimately, it became really bearish and sold off like that. And into the close, it, it just really just hovered in that area, this 46 handle, and eventually it went lower right here. So I would kind of consider it a nice little dead cat bounce for sellers to continue selling this market. We're most likely going to go down and test the $45 handle. Eventually, don't know when, but uh, it looks like we're closing in there. And the funny part about this is if you take a look at the one hour chart, we actually had a rotational zone right here in this area, even though it broke above it, where this fast moving average never really broke the slow moving average. It probably did at some point up here, but then when it came back down, it just showed that it was holding its own and decided to roll back over. But other than that, guys, you guys have a fantastic uh week and i'll see you guys tomorrow i might be um heading out to go to san francisco to visit my family so in the event that that occurs um i'll still be um updating but i just might be a little bit slower on that aspect other than that um that's about it okay i'll see you guys tomorrow at 5 uh 5 50 a.m uh, pacific standard time take care guys Bye bye